tonight. I just wanted to watch him, the way he moved, the way he danced. I'm sure they're gonna go very far. Very, very short. It was something different I've never seen before. Russia, 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 Russia. We are When did you know that you were a musician? That's an interesting question. You know? <laughs> Um, I knew I was a musician a long time ago. There was also always something in me that um, I knew that um, you know I was not the normal trained boy that is gonna be the office boy. I was always a bit off from what everybody would expect, you know. To be, but um, so I mean, I, I knew, I knew, I knew I was a musician a long time ago. Yeah, it's just that um, this is the time that I've got the opportunity to develop it more and to show the world who, who, who I am truly and what I am and what I can do with music. Yeah. So I've seen you using this drum, you mm -hmm. know, you know, in terms of talking about your inspirations or your favorite instruments. I've seen you using this drum, you know, <laughs> that you come out with. In the beginning yeah. of, of a lot of the, you know, like either your sets that you do or whatever, Can you talk about what what is this drum? You talk about, tell, tell me about it. very unique instrument before the introduction of the white man telephone you know? before the white man mobile phone this is how Africans used to communicate so that's why they call it the talking drum the drum talks and 2007 I went back to Ghana I, I knew about the talking drum, but it wasn't something that I know how to play so much. So um, I took a time off from New Zealand, went to Ghana, and um, I studied the talking drum from a master drummer from the Dagomba tribe. Mm. Yes. And the way the guy plays the talking drum is amazing. You know, he can mention your name. He can, you know, it, the story of the village, he tells the story on the drum. So I spent three months with him and all I learned was using the drum to talk. So when I came to New Zealand and I started to do the Afro sound, before I come on stage, for me as an inspiration, you know, I feel that I need to talk to people spiritually. And so the spiritual sense of that drum is to actually invoke some certain spirit and make the room get filled with that sort of energy. So I come and I talk on the drum and I talk on the drum and I talk on the drum and I talk on the drum. It, it announces, you know, the, the arrival of the Yao, the arrival of the Yahweh, you know, and the arrival of Zozo.